Hello all my jewelry lovers out there. I am back for part two on this bag from the Goodwill. Um, this is the one that um, is supposed to be all wearable jewelry. It's not supposed to have anything broken or whatever. But anyway, so far I have not been impressed with it. But we'll see if it gets any better, hopefully. Um, okay, so I thank everybody for watching. And please subscribe and hit the like button if you have not done that yet. I really appreciate it. And please leave me comments because your comments really do help me. And, um... You know, I really enjoy the comments. I enjoy reading them, and I enjoy um, responding to them. So, this is, looks like, it's got a hinge, so it looks like a locket, maybe. It's got a um, vintage clasp. Um, I guess true vintage is supposed to be like 1940s, so I don't think it's that vintage, but um in jewelry lately that's come to mean anything 20 years or younger yeah it is a um it is a locket that's kind of odd i've never seen well not odd but that's kind of unusual i've not seen a round one this does look like um gold plated maybe it has nowhere but the color looks like gold plated and here's my it looks like it might say something on the no, that's just the plating. I can actually see the plating on this one. Yep, no, no marks, but that's kind of cool. Good for a little girl. Like I said, so far this bag really has been mostly little girl's jewelry. Here is a Santa pin, and it feels like that resin material. And the paper is yellowed. It says a dollar, but the paper is really yellowed, so I think that's been around a while. And it says from Walmart Corporation on the back, but yellowed, very yellowed. So, been around a while. And then one of these um, string work bracelets. That's some really skilled work there, though. They did a really good job. Whoever did this knotting, I guess, is what it is. But very skilled. One of these type. I think these take a lot of patience, takes a long time to probably just do one little section of that. So I admire um, this kind of work. I really do because a lot of skill and love goes into it. And this is kind of cool. It's um, acrylic beads. Yeah, these feel like acrylic. They look sort of like wood, but I think they're acrylic. Let me see if I see any. Nope, they're wood. Yep, I see wood grain, so they're wood. This is kind of cool. I sort of like this. It's a stretchy, but I kind of like the way it, it's constructed. Nice. I do like that. And another one of these. I like the colors on this, but um, yeah, quite a few of these in here. And this has some like gray glass cat's eye beads in there too so i like those but this is good beads for a crafter see a lot of this is going to go into a crafter's lot and here is another one of those um looks like they put metal studs in there they are nice um yeah they yeah they are brass studs and some little um hematite beads on the end and like I said, a lot of skill goes into these things, and it does have the adjustable type thing. A little cheapy pair of earrings, one dollar. It says these are also Walmart, one dollar. Um, another one of these bracelets, but in blue, same um, heart type thing. These are cute, though. I think these are cute nice pretty shade of blue and I don't know it looks like some kind of faux leather band that it's on another pair of cheapy little Walmart earrings okay what have we here let me see get my magnet out of the way 
This actually looks kind of cool. This feels, this has got some weight to it. It's got, oh, no, that's not the clasp. Is there a clasp on this? No, there's no clasp on this, but these are glass beads. And this looks like amber, I believe. And these look like bone. So this is, yep, yeah, this is amber. So apparently this snuck by them. Yep, there's insecties in there. This is amber, so well, at least I got something decent out of that bag. And I just sold some amber too, so hopefully I might this is probably something I can sell. This this is kind of cool though, and it has um, this is some kind of stone too, some kind of carved stone. It's a rabbit, and I think this might be Native American, this necklace. Um, pretty cool though. But yeah, the amber, the amber does have some insect. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you sort of can there. It has some insects in it, and that's pretty cool. So they're pretty nice chunks of amber, and it's a fairly long necklace. So I'm, I'm actually happy with that one. Um, at least they gave me something good in that bag. And like I said, it probably slipped by because they didn't realize what it was. Um, but cool. And that, that is carved. And I forgot what that rabbit means. I've seen that in other, um, the same kind of carving in other Native American jewelry. So I'll have to look that up. But nice, finally, something nice in this bag. And, and good, nice, heavy weight. But yeah, best thing in here so far. You know, at least that one thing, I can probably make my money back on this with that. And these are kind of cool, too. Um, they are earrings and... <laughs> trying to figure out what that is I don't know if that's an angry bird or not but it looks like a bird they're kind of cool it's like a glass cabochon and it has the bird underneath and let's see do these stick to the metal no these don't stick these look um I don't know what I just lost over there yeah not sticking these look like they could be brass also kind of an antiqued brass but those are kind of cute. Don't know what the bird is about, but they're kind of cute. Um, and another little girl's necklace, peace sign with rhinestones, and it says BFF. So anybody have any little girls? I will be making a little girl's lot very quickly. And a rhinestone stretchy, and that one is missing a rhinestone. Um, yeah, missing a rhinestone. Not much else. I think we already had one of these, so this is the second one of these. It's kind of cute, but it's um, not real well made. Actually, I think it would be cuter as a pair of earrings, So, because um, the chains are kind of... Um, lightweight and yeah stick into the magnet big time so i think i might take these off they might make a really cute pair of earrings though um so i'll probably take them off and make earrings out of them and then just an empty lightweight chain surprisingly that one does not stick to the magnet but it is very lightweight and it does not have this this will go in a crafter as lot and I can probably use this to make like an extender on a necklace and this is yeah this is stones of some kind um, it has some cat's eye beads and some little metal flowers some pink quartz and these look like uh, I can't remember the name of that pink stone with black going through it. It'll come to me. There's a pink stone that has black marbling through it, and it's naturally pink. And this is kind of probably not the highest quality of that. It can get into a really pretty, pretty pink. 
um, and have really fine marbling detail in it. But yeah, that's what this stone is. I just can't remember the name of it, but cute, stretchy. And the little, this is kind of cute for a little girl, a little owl ring um, with some rhinestones and they actually have the rhinestones resin in there but adjustable cute and yet another thing of seed beads another strand of seed beads these are the little tiny tiny ones though i like those little tiny ones and what do we got here Let's see. Let me get this out of my way again. As soon as I move it, though, I'll need it, of course. And another um, made out of stone. This looks like, um, what do you call that? Uh, think, Cindy, think. Um, oh, I'm picturing it in my head. Not marble, but um, alabaster, maybe. It sort of looks like alabaster stone, but probably is something else but it's a pretty color yeah it kind of looks like alabaster another I guess this is a bracelet this is another really lightweight bracelet um, or spring class and another really lightweight necklace and it says love yeah, this is all, like I said, all lobster class, all pretty much children's jewelry. Another necklace with this pretty shell, little pink scallop type shell. And little tiny seed beads, lobster class. So another child's necklace. Should have said um, child's children's jewelry on there instead of calling this wearable I mean for adults here's another hematite though this one's kind of pretty little hematite heart um, lobster class has got a tiny I'm not lobster but um, barrel class got a tiny little barrel class I do have a lot of these hematite necklaces now and a few that are like magnetite that are magnetized so I probably will do a lot with just a whole bunch of those for anybody who likes those. Um, and this is just a pearl necklace. No marks. Looks like it has a um, class. This stuff doesn't, most of it looks like it was never worn. So, yeah. This is kind of cute. Um, I believe I have the bracelet that matches this that came in another lot. Um, but it does have some cute beads. They are acrylic beads. Those are kind of cute. Um, yeah, all acrylic. Uh, no clasp on that, but I do like the colors they used on that. So that's pretty. And yet another seed bead necklace. Um, another seed bead necklace. This is all acrylic beads also. And another one of these with the studs. I think the last one was what, brown or red or something. This one's in black, made exactly the same way. Studs on there are kind of nice, so this would be nice for a crafter's lot, but kind of cool the way they incorporated those studs into that. Okay, a charm type bracelet. And it appears to be plastic, but it's seashells and starfish sort of motif. Pretty color of blue. And this is really cool. I think I've gotten one of these before, and I remember when they were making these. These are made out of shells. They're carved out of shell. And these are cool. It's a, kind of a melon color shell. 
that I kind of like like that oh he's too small of course but that's kind of these are kind of cool I actually had a couple of these back in the day when they were popular and of course I cracked them here is a silver chain it has a tag um, maybe it it's a um, herringbone and it does have a tag so maybe if I'm lucky it'll be 925 but something tells me it won't be nope that is Monet though so that's cool silver Monet don't see that too often with the silver so that's nice I don't know if it was supposed to have some kind of pendant but that's nice a silver Monet chain um, it's in in decent shape oh, I thought it was a little kink there but yeah, it does have a couple little bends in it, but nice. I am nice for a Monet chain, though. I'll use that for something. Okay, little stretchy seed bead with little metal rings. And a hematite or magnetite, magnetic. These are kind of cool, these magnetic things. This, oops, this is a pretty long one. It had a little hitchhiker there. This is a pretty long one. And it does not have a clasp, but it doesn't really need a clasp. Um, but that one's kind of cool. It has, um, it has the uh, gold stone beads on there. Back in the day, and I probably still have some of that. So one of these days I'm going to dig out all of my raw stones. Because I think I have some of this in purple. Um, some of my raw stones like various shades of um, gold and yellow and purple in that but it does come in purple and it's that's a natural color for it I don't believe it's dyed and a little tiny bracelet and it's kind of cute it's got some cute little things on it but this is definitely a little girl's it's um not marked of course but this is kind of cute for a little girl they did actually bother to prong set that surprisingly yep prong set it okay what else have we got here another stretchy plastic bracelet and hmm oh that's a chain wrapped around it this must be magnetic or something yeah yeah magnetic class so that chain was sticking to it but this is this is actually kind of cute it has those little um round with rhinestones and these are these are crystal beads so that's not too bad it's it's actually crystal beads so that one's kind of pretty very delicate short though like choker length like 15 16 inch choker length but does have some pretty beads on it um kind of a teal and a peridot and a gray so nice that's kind of nice i like that one and just an inexpensive little gold chain um, a stretchy shell bracelet gotten a few of these these aren't too bad though they're kind of cool don't know that I'd probably buy one but and this is just a plastic um, plastic little faux leather bracelet snap bracelet and another one of these black um, crystal beaded bangles those would be stackable and then this big old cuff bracelet and it's sort of a little bit bent wacky I don't know if I can get that on, Hold on. let me get this out of the way again this is actually kind of fairly heavy it's not real lightweight um 
So that's not too bad. I can deal with that. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. Yep, I can almost pick up my magnet with it. Yep, it's magnetic, but it's kind of cool for a cuff bracelet, kind of a giant cuff bracelet. And then these acrylic bead stretchy and a clear acrylic bangle. And this is super lightweight. Wow, oh, and it just busted. I think they put every piece of lightweight jewelry they could find. And they called it wearable because most of it does look like it's new. But um, very, very, not very well made, most of it. Okay, this is kind of cool. I think this is, not sure what these are. Yeah, almost look like clay or something. I'm not sure what these beads are, but those are puka shells in between. And the rest of the colored ones are some kind of, I don't know, clay or resin type material. And it is a lobster claw. And let's see what we got here. Little earrings with tassels. These are kind of cute. But again, very lightweight. But they're not too bad, really. The color looks good on them, though. These are cute. Those are actually very cute. I like those. Very cute. And this isn't too bad. It's another one of those um, Mother of Pearl beaded. And it almost looks like coral. Yep, coral and jade. Yep, this coral and jade in between. And it is a barrel clasp. But yeah, that does look like real coral and jade beads in between. But I like that color combination of the coral and the jade with the mother of pearl. So that, that one's cute. That one goes with my shirt, too. Isn't that cute? Okay. Can I toss it aside? Oh, gosh. And then another pair of the, yeah, the dollar Walmart. These are really old. These cards are really yellowed. And I think this is the Walmart. But just little pink balls. Good again for a little girl. And let's see, another, okay, this has got a hook. So this may be older. Unless somebody repurposed it. But this is kind of cool. It's this little pearls. They're they're it's heavy, so I think they're glass pearls, and it has um, a few like different colors running through it, like pastels, like yellow and beige and different pastels. So that's not too bad. It's a choker. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, these are. This is some kind of actual stone necklace, too. This is kind of cute. It has um, that, I don't know, what do you call this thing? I don't remember. But anyways, this is cute. I like this one. I like these beads. They're not moonstone. Um, but it is some kind of, like, highly polished white quartz or something. But, yeah, it's cold to the touch. Oh, I just realized I'm still wearing the lips. Yeah. Okay, and another little stretchy. This one kind of got a really interesting little metal bead on it. And this feels like, this is, feels like some kind of stone too. Maybe glass. That's kind of pretty though. That's, whatever that is, is pretty. And another little girl's earring, little blue half hoop earring. Now this is awesome. This has got some really, really skilled beadwork. Very skilled. It's the little tiny seed beads, but look at that workmanship on that. 
that some skill there and some patience. So I actually like that. It does look kind of small. Again, a little girl. We're almost done with this. Put you out of your misery here in a second. Now this is another one of those shell bracelets, but I kind of like the way they put that one together. It almost looks like bones. Kind of cool, right color. But this one I like. This one I can deal with. I like the way they strung it and the way they cut the shell on this one. Uh, nice. Then another stretchy. This one has the tag. It says Carol Deplaz. Carol Deplaz. Not sure who that is, but this sold for $16. Whoever Carol Deplaz is. Kind of cool looking beads though. Black in the middle. I'll have to look her up and see why her stretchy bracelet costs $16 though. Anybody familiar with her? An uh, inexpensive metal bangle. I think I got a couple of these. This is a heavier one, but um, it does stick to the magnet, so it's not brass. But I've got a few I can stack that with. And another bangle. This one almost looks gold plated. It's the right color. It has a little tiny heart right there. I don't like taking this stuff out of the package because when I give it to somebody I like it to be in the package. But there you go. And this is another seed bead necklace. Yep, this box has been a bust. Yeah, I've got a few more in there. So from Shop Goodwill, that look to be a lot better than this. This is nice. This is glass beads. These look like homemade, you know, or artisan made. These are really pretty beads. It has a seashell looks like an entire clamshell that is some kind of metal then it has this little mother of pearl bead of some kind but this one's not bad i like this one and then a fish right there yeah i can deal with this one the turtle it's stretchy still has its stretch yeah not a single and this has a um Yep, it's a um, halite, a turquoise colored dyed halite, and plastic beads. So craft, 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 craft. This almost his whole bag is going crap. Now this is pretty. I like this. This is um, plastic. They are plastic beads, but I do like um, what they put on this bracelet. This one's cute got some nice beads on it. Dang, that lighting is terrible. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, very nice beads on this one though. Yeah, this one I think I would actually wear. This one's really cute. Um, yeah, some of them are copper. Yeah, a couple of these beads are copper, it looks like. And they're set like it's weird um whatever this is is prong set these little discs are prong set so kind of unusual but yeah that's, that's nice i like that one so you know this bag was bad if i'm getting really excited over that and these are cute these are enamel um these are well made these are actually fairly good yeah, no markings on the back, but these are pretty well made enameling. And look, they go with my shirt too. Um, but yeah, these I like. These I can work with. These would be a good free gift. Yeah, I've got good weight. And not sticking to the magnet, so decent metal. Okay, down to the last couple pieces. Finally, I bet you're going, oh my God, will she ever finish that wretched bag? This is another little girl, BFF. 
slice of pizza enameled it's actually decent enameling on this one though this is not as bad as the other ones the chain is a little heavier and there's some kind of numbers on the back of the pizza maybe it's a number for pizza hut um yeah, I don't know what all those numbers are about. Nine, huh, seven, eight, one, nine, four, three, 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 four, three, zero, nine, dash, 16. Yeah, I don't know what all that means, but that's actually kind of cute. That one's not too bad. There you go. And, hmm. Not sure what those are made out of. They're little squares and triangle beads. So this would be good beads for a crafter. And not sure what those are. Hmm. That almost looks like... I don't know what that looks like. It's got little... It's porous. Very weird. Porous. Don't know what the heck those are made out of. Can you see that? Anyways, not sure. And here is the other red earring in the bottom. And another um, seed pearl stretchy. Or seed bead stretchy with a little ball with black rhinestones. And then very last, a stretchy bracelet. So that was probably the worst bag i've gotten so far the only decent there weren't too many decent things in there this is probably the only way i will make my money back on that one period because you know the shipping is kind of expensive um i was really happy with my last box but not so much this one but this is the only really decent this amber necklace this is pretty cool so this one i will um probably get my money back on the whole jar based mostly off of this one so that's um it for this jar guys and sorry this one was so boring uh i have three more like nine pound boxes from shop goodwill and i have not opened them yet but I think those are going to be a lot better than this because they were unsorted so um, they should and I paid a little more for them so hopefully they'll be better. I mean the bracelet lot I bought from them was fantastic and a lot of Monet in there and then the 16 pound box had a lot of um, pretty good stuff. It had a lot of broken beat up stuff but it did have a lot of um, sellable items in it. So anyways, Anita's bag beat this one by a long shot. Anyways, guys, love you all. Please hit the <coughs> thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed. And leave me a comment and I appreciate you all. I will um, post another video in a couple of days. Thanks everybody. Love you all.